I was asked on Facebook to show how I set my grommets to get them straight. So this is um, the back piece for a single layer uh, corset belt pattern. So it's not meant for tight lacing, but it's a, a good enough example. So as it's a single layer, I've used bias binding here to, to create the boning channels. Now I put boning channels both sides of my, uh, my grommets, but if you don't, if you just have the one, then I still suggest measuring out from the edge. So what I've done is I've used a dressmaker's pencil. This is a chalk pencil, so afterwards I can uh, I can rub it off with a wet cloth. Um, if you don't want to mark the front, obviously mark the back. And then what I've I've done is I've taken a ruler and I've measured measured my my boning channels and then I have centered down the middle so I will have measured the top and the bottom and the middle and then just joined up the dashes and then what I've done is I've got the the waist marked off here and then I've made sure the waist is central between two of my grommets and then I've measured one inch sections and left enough room up here so that I can put my my binding on and the same down here so there we go now I'm going to sew on my boning channels so two more lines of stitching here with a gap in between to set my grommets or eyelets I'm actually for this corset I'm using these little ones as this is more of a fashion corset so I shall show you those going in after I've done my two lines of stitching. Right, so I'm setting my eyelets now. Uh, here are the eyelets. And what I'm using to make the holes is uh, just an awl, which is, um, you know what an awl is, it's a metal spike with a slightly blunt end. And I'm just working that into the marks I've, I've made where the eyelets go. And there we go. So this is quite a small, a, a, quite a thin awl, so I'm probably going to need to use something a bit thicker to make that a bit bigger. Uh, I've got a pen here easy enough and my embroidery scissors might be a better size. You can obviously cut holes. Uh, my my I use these handheld setters but they do come with a separate set of dies that have a, like a hole punch. But as these are quite small eyelets, I am going to, to make holes the old fashioned way. Get that a bit bigger. And there we go, it should be just about big enough. And there we go. I'm just going to push the threads down around the edge so it sets properly. And then I'm going to use my, my handheld tool. Uh, the plastic goes on this side. And the metal pushes down on the eyelet. There we go. Let me just finish that off and I'll show you what it looks like finished with the bones in. I'm just putting in my bones now so you can see the finished effect. A little bit tight. 
tight. 